Hello there and welcome back to linuxjobber.com where we prepare you for Linux jobs. Whether you're a system administrator looking for refreshers to go into the next interview or you're a fresh system administrator looking for your first job, what we do here is prepare you for those positions. My name is Sean Me Joseph and my email is shopopulous at gmail.com. Feel free to send me an email if you have any questions. Let's get started for today's video. Today's video it would be um, data protection and reliability just like uh, the previous one and um, the prerequisite task for today's video is a question number 16 on our website linuxjava.com today we'll be looking at question number 17 and it has three tasks here for us to do now if you're taking the Red Hat Systems, Ad Systems Administrators exam RHCA remember that a question like this will probably earn you about 30 points but more importantly this question is get towards interview so if you're preparing for an interview you're better off knowing this particular question because a lot of LVM gives flexibility to storage systems and a lot of employers want this flexibility so it's better you're better off knowing this before going in, into an interview because you'll probably come up on the technical part of the exam so let's take a look at it very quickly so it says to convert your Prac part which we created in the previous question to an LVM partition. Let's do that very quickly. So our Prac part was mounted, like it says, um, if you look at the FS tab where our Prac part is mounted, you can see that uh, it's mounted on opt Prac part. So you can't work with a partition that's already mounted. So the first thing we are going to do is to unmount the the partition let's see if we can use the label so we don't have to okay so um let's just unmount then the so it's unmounted the partition now and now we can convert it to a linux partition so now first of all let's see how let's take a look at here we use F disk to see if it is a an LVM partition already the SDA we look at every partition inside our physical disk SDA and then we print what's inside and as you can see the partition SDA3 where our prac part is situated is not LVM. First we have to change it. So we use type for the type. It will ask us for the partition number. We just I just told you it's three, <coughs> so it's going to be three. And then you can type L to see the list of codes, but we already know, or we can just take a look at it. It's um 8E is what we want, which is LVM. So we're gonna put the put that in there. Eight E. So the, if you print now, you can see that the device, the partition SDA three has just been changed from just being Linux, which it, where it was before, now to eight E, which is LVM. So now, best thing to do now is to write that. And one of the things you can do is you can use part probe to <coughs> to let the kernel know about this change because the kernel is still using the old partition table it didn't understand that we've just changed the partition number three from linux to lvm it doesn't know that but it will know that if we reboot so you can use part probe or you can use reboot in my case i'll use reboot so i'm gonna pause the video and reboot and be back yes so I have just rebooted my system and my computer um, has just come up and this machine can now see the new the new partition the new label that we just the new type that we just changed on the partition so if we do f disk SDA and we print the partition table you can see that 
the machine, the kernel, now sees the LVM. Even though it was showing it before, the machine, the kernel wasn't seeing it, but now it can see it. So now we can actually do a, we can actually create a physical volume on this partition. So now let's do a PV create. Even though the question says to create with the name, um, PV create doesn't have a name, so you can put a name on there. But you can do dev. You can do PV create. SDA first. I don't know if it makes sense to show you that to show you what we have originally. We only have physical volume SDA5 on this machine before. So now if we do PV create dev SDA3. So we're now creating physical volume with this. It's a mounted file system, so you can't u not f sda3 you can't um, modify <coughs> the partition that's already mounted so now we we'll do a preview create again and it's been successfully created so if you look at the pv display now we have two we have the sda5 that was existing before and the new sva3 sda3 that we just created so now the question says to create a volume group VG01, I believe. Uh, let's be sure, take a look at it. Okay, the volume says to create VG01. I'm going to you create that now. So you do VG create VG01. See how simple that is? That's what you have to do. Actually, it says to use caps 01. <clears throat> and then, even though we have create, we are creating a volume group, we have to tell it which which physical volume to use to create this volume group. Or physical or group of physical volumes to use. So we say use the SDA3 physical volume. So you see, it successfully created. Now, to for this to be usable, we have to create logical volumes. So we're going to use LV create, and we can say the name of it would be LV01. I believe that's what the question says, and. Um, we're going to use this volume group that we have SDA3. Okay, now we're going to put the the size that we want in there. I forgot to put the size. Let's put the size in there. Okay. So, let's put the size in there. Dash L for the size and um, I have 1.95 gigabytes if you look at the physical volume size that's how big my physical volume is but like I said I'll be using um, we can't use everything because Linux volume is going to use some of it for itself so let's just put 1.9 gigabytes in there and so volume group SDA3 was not found um, let's do VG display let's say the name of our volume group oh vg01 we change the name question says to change the name to vg01 so let's put vg01 vg01 and then it's created Log logical volume lv1 created and the, the question says to mount it let's take a look at the what the question says to create a volume, a volume so it didn't say to mount it but we're done um We've done what the, what the question asks us to do, and uh, this will be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Shomumi Joseph, and my email is shopopulos at gmail.com. If you have any questions, please send it to me, and I'll be sure to answer your questions. Thank you again for watching.